we will run this one cable to our strategic midpoint. We install our outdoor termination box. Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. So now we are looking at a beautiful community with a not so beautiful problem connectivity. So they have a central hub right here and multiple endpoints way over there. Community center, park, coffee area, surface knot, and they need a stable high-speed fiber network linking them all over distances of five kilometers or more. The requirement, blazing fast data and clean quick install. If you use the traditional way, a nightmare. It would mean running a separate fiber from the central hub to each and every building. There's multiple trenches, multiple cable runs, and at every single building, you need a fusion splicer and a skilled technician, and hours of work just to terminate one cable. It's complex, expensive, and the downtime is huge. So the question is, is there a smarter way? What if I told you you could connect all this building with just one cable run? And what if I said you could do it without a single fission splice out in the field? That's the power of a smarter fiber architecture. The secret weapon? Centralized outdoor fiber termination. So here's the genius plan. Instead of multiple cables, we deploy one multi-string pre-made fiber optic cable like this 4-string or even a 12-string cable from the core network out into the field. We'll run this one cable to our strategic midpoint and then we install our hero of the day, our outdoor termination box. Now this isn't just any box, it's built for the weatherproof outdoors UV resistant and its job is to be a central meeting point. Now inside the box, this is where the magic happens. Because inside, the fiber cable is already terminated, so it's a factory made plug and play system. Now see this? These are pre-made fiber optic connectors. No fusion splicing on sites, no special tools. This eliminates a massive point of cost, complexity, and risk. And it's literally just open the box and you're ready to connect. Now from this central box, we'll run short and simple fiber links to each nearby endpoints, the workshop, the office, you name it. And each building gets its own dedicated fiber string from the main cable. Now think of it like a highway, a big road from the city with individual private off-ramp going directly to each destination. Now let's see how all this come together. So step one, we'll run our single full string cable from our core switch location to the termination box. Now you're looking at our fiber managed switch with eight ethernet port and 16 SFP slots. Now I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the ethernet port to the network video recorder because we have a camera at the end point so we can display video footage. In order to connect to our fiber optic cable, we'll need a thing called SFP transceiver. Now, SFP transceiver is the translator. It converts electrical signal from our network into light signal for the fiber. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in four of them. Now, if you need one gig, you just use a 1 gig SFP transceiver. If you need to upgrade to 10 gig, just pop in a new module later. It's that flexible. Now, when you look closer to our four string fiber optic cable, you can see on each string it has label on them so you won't mix them up. We have A, B, C, and D. And I'm going to go ahead and plug them all in. It's pretty simple, you just plug it in until you hear a click sound. All right, so it's done. So now we have all the fiber optic cable connected and we'll run this one cable to our termination box. We secure the cable, fit it in, 
and protect it. So the hard part, honestly, that's almost done. Now we can see I already connected two of the string. Now I'm going to connect another two since we are using this full string fiber optic cable. Plug it in to the coupler here. And on the other side, we'll use a short fiber patch cord and another row of a two string fiber optic cable. So you can see we have A string and B string. Let's connect them with our four string fiber optic cable. All right. And from our termination box, we'll go to our building end. Let's say our workshop. We have a device like this, a PUE fiber media converter. This receives the light signal converted back and can even power devices like Wi-Fi access point cameras over the same ethernet cable. So now I'm going to take our fiber patch cord and connect it to the SFP slot. Now I already plugged in the SFP transceiver inside the media converter and this is the PUE output port. I'm going to connect to an ethernet cable. So it sends both power and data to our connected device, which is our Wi-Fi access point. Now I'm taking it out so you can see it is getting the power it needs as well as the data. Let's mount it back. And for the two string fiber optic cable, we are going to connect it to our PUE switch. We have string A and B. We just need to use one of them. So let's use string A to an SFP transceiver and directly to the SFP slot. Then run another short patch cord from our PUE switch directly to our PUE powered bullet camera. So soon you'll see our camera is working. I can hear the sound of it. So now you have a direct, clean, point-to-point -point fiber link. Now looking at our monitor, now we are seeing a live video feed. I'm going to wave my hand. So why is this a game changer? Let's break it down. First, cost and speed. Just one cable run, no fusion splicers, drastically lower label time and cost, and you can literally connect 12 or more points in the time it used to take to do two. Second, performance and reliability. Each endpoint has its own dedicated fiber string, so there's no bandwidth sharing. This isn't a shared network like PON. It's a direct line supporting 1G, 10G, or even more. And if there's an issue at one building, it's isolated. The rest keep running perfectly. Third, clean and scalable. Look at this fiber management. It's tidy, protected, and professional. And with spare string in the cable, that's your future proving. If you need to add building next year, just add a spare string from the existing cable. No new digs, zero downtime for the existing network. So this is how you build a smart, future-ready infrastructure. If you have a project that spans a campus, an industrial park, or a community like this one, this architecture is a total winner. What do you say? Have you tackled a project like this? Let us know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe for more Tech Deep Dive. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in our next one.